And lads, we can't be naive. You don't just do this one exercise to get six back abs. That's not how it works. Lads, if you clicked on this video, you probably want to know how to get some six pack abs. And for whatever reason, you may, you know, take a look in the mirror. You don't like what you see. Could be super skinny. You could be skinny fat. You could be overweight. Just out of shape in general. Do you know what I mean? And we all could want abs for different reasons. Yes, to so, you know, the vanity in the mirror. You look in the mirror, you like what you see. Or you want to get some abs because you want to do in summertime for the beach. Or you want to show off this. Or be more attracted to girls. This, that, the other. It could be any reasons. We could all have different reasons, which is fine. But how do we get them? First of all, lads, I just want to say I've been in this situation. I've looked in the mirror, been skinny, out of shape, no definition, okay? Just no shape. So I know exactly what you're going through. I, <laughs> I know what it feels like, you know, but you can do things to change that. And here's a few things you can do, lads. You need to train your abs. You know, people say, oh, abs are made in the kitchen. Well, well, in terms of diets and stuff like that, well, that's if you have some abs, you know, in the first place. You know, yes, some people can get some skinny packs, but a lot of people just don't have a lot of, you know, developed ab muscle. So what's the point in cutting down and revealing what? Nothing. You need to train your abs. What will that do? It'll build them up, you know, make them thicker, make them push through the skin more visible, okay? You need to train your abs. Don't listen to the people who just don't train abs or just have some good ab genetics, this, that, the other. Train your abs. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is train all of them. You don't just train the top, you wanna to train the bottom, okay? The midsection. You wanna train the sides, the obliques. That's how you get that ripped up look. That's how you get that strong look, that aesthetic look. Now there's loads of different exercises you can do for the upper, the middle, you can do crunches. What I like to do is I like to lie back on a decline bench, okay? And then you crunch up. And you know what you can also do? When you come up, you turn side to side as well, hitting the side as well as the middle and top, okay? And what else can you do for the bottom? What I like to do is hanging leg raises, you know? Just go on a, a pull-up bar. You just hang there and lift your legs up like that, okay? You can also do those lying down windshield wipers where you just lie down, move your legs from like side to side, okay? You hit the bottom as well. And I'd aim for, you know, 15 to 25 reps, but actually focus your mind on the muscle, okay? Don't just go through the motion to just like swing your whole body weight, this, that, the other. No, you're gonna wanna actually focus on your targeted muscle, you know, the one you're working. So if you're doing a crunch, for example, when you come up, focus your mind on tensing that muscle when you come up as well. You know, bring some intention, bring some action with it, okay? You got a goal, you got a purpose, actually work, actually work the muscle. Don't just go through the motion. That's what I do is I train abs two to three times a week. If you want to train it every time you go to the gym, that's up to you, completely up to you, but at least start training your abs. Lads, this is a big one, okay, and it's body fat. The average person today, the average man is overweight, okay? What does that do? It makes your face all bloated for a start, takes all the angles away from your face, as well as your body. You can't see your abs because it's covered in a layer of fat. You know, people like 20% body fat, 25% body fat, this, that, the other. Guys, if you want to see your abs, you gotta at least get to, you know, 10, 12, 14%, you'll see some visible abs. You gotta get down to that level, but how do you do that? There's like online calculators you can use to see your maintenance level, you know, the calories you need to eat each day to maintain your weight. So there's BMR calculators, okay? Basal metabolic rate calculators. You type all your values into that, okay? Just search it online, type your values in, it'll come out with a, with a calorie number, okay? And you have to eat that much to maintain your weight. So what you wanna do, just take away 300 from that value and eat that much a day to be in a deficit, which means, you know, the amount of calories you need to eat to lose weight. So you'll start to see your weight drop and your abs will be more visible. If you've got some muscle in your abs and on your frame, you cut down, you walk out, you'd be like, damn, who's that dude? He's transformed, different person. Look at the angles on his face, his body. Looks ripped up. And lads, just getting down to 10, 12% body fat, you just stand out from other people anyway, if you know it's got a bit of muscle, because a lot of people just don't take care of themselves. Do you know what I mean? You will be basically an outlier just walking around. It's just the way it is in, in society these days. In terms of diet, I don't want to overcomplicate it for this video, but just try and increase your protein levels. You know, if you weigh like 150 pounds, try and aim for 150 grams of protein a day, okay? Just do your best. Don't stress yourself out too much, okay? Just do your best with it. Just eat meat, fish, eggs, dairy, nuts, just all those types of foods that are higher in protein, okay? That'll help get your calories in for the day. I also eat, like to eat stuff like oats and fruit, blueberries, bananas, peanut butter, things like that. What I didn't mention earlier is if you are struggling to, you know, stick to your calories, you may think, oh, I'm, I'm just overeating a bit. You can intermittent fast, push your first meal back a bit in the day, okay? So you wake up at like eight, for example, okay? I push my first meal back till 12 o'clock, okay? 
So just during that four hour period, I'm just drinking black coffee. And it works for me because I don't really feel hungry in the morning. I mean, caffeine's an appetite suppressor. You just get focused with the coffee, so you can just get stuff done. If you're working in the morning, you just get a lot done. You know, you're not thinking of food, not digesting and feeling sluggish after you've eaten. You, it's, you just feel productive, you know? It's a lot easier. It works for me, it may work for you. Also be easier to eat less that day then as well because you've, you know, you've actively skipped, you know, one of your meals. And lads, it's all good training the abs, but you're gonna to wanna to train your whole body, your whole physique, do you know what I mean? You don't wanna just train your abs. You wanna train, you know, your chest, your back, your shoulders, your arms, your neck your legs, glutes, you know, hamstrings, quads, calves. You're gonna to wanna to train everything. Resistance training, weight training, releases hormones in your body. Easier to build muscle then, you know, easier to burn fat then. And you know, with that increase in testosterone, that will help you build muscle on your abs. It's a win-win and it's not just good, you know, to turn up to the gym and like see, you know, the vanity in the red light, but you see guys, it's the mindset of it as well. The person you become, you need to push yourself in the gym and you transform, you know, you push yourself past your limits. You didn't think you could do something, you know, you didn't think you'd do 10 reps, but oh, you've done 10, 11, 12, you know what that does? Strengthens the mindset. You've overcome challenge now. You believe in yourself a bit more. That self-belief, that confidence comes in when challenge arises in other areas of life. You know you can deal with it. Deal with it a lot easier because you've seen challenge before in a controlled environment or this chaos, you know. There's unknown challenges in the outside world, but I've seen challenge here, I can deal with challenge there. And then with your physique and your abs, you look in the mirror, you like what you see, that confidence, that self-belief you've built up. Now it helps you in all different areas of life, dating, career, spiritual life. I just don't see why people wouldn't weight train. Lads, I hope this video has brought you value. These are the few things I've done. If you stay consistent, you will build yourself a pair of abs, a set of abs. They're there for the taking, but are you willing to do what it takes to get there? That's completely up to you. And if you really want some abs, guys, why don't you start taking it a bit more serious, okay? Do you really actually want some, or are you just saying you want some? Because a lot of people just talk, oh yeah, I want this, that, but then they do nothing about it. Guys, be that one in a minute, be that person that does something about it, especially in today's society, where everyone just can't be bothered, everyone just gives up so fast. Lads, don't give up, stay consistent. You can do it, okay? If you enjoyed this video, why not watch another one? I'm sure I'll enjoy it. You got this.